Yo, it's Chriso from the Gold Coast, <clears throat> Australia. I'm just um, rolling this primer on the wall. If you hear a, a little baby crying, well, <clears throat> that's what's happening. Uh, little boy's been put to bed, but he doesn't want to sleep. <laughs> His mum is getting tiles for me that have been left down at the end of the drive. And the little boy doesn't want to sleep. If you hear him crying, that's what it is. You always, I can't stipulate this enough. You always prime your walls before you're waterproof. I'm having VJ board from 1200 up, but I still prime the walls uh, because you know, you're, you've got glues and everything that you're wanting to stick the VJ board to. Well, this could be dusty and that sort of thing. You always prime, whatever you do. I'll come back to you in a minute, see how there's a little bit of dust in there, but you put that in there and yep, all hunky glory. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Um, I, it's been all stripped out. I stripped it out Monday, Tuesday. I was resheating the shower. It was a shocker. It's been bodgy bobbed up. Um, I've put in two niches, one for the soaps, one for the girls to shave their legs. I'm just in the process of running some silicon around the bottom because I'll be waterproofing out here. Out here I'll be going up, oh, I don't know, that high, 1200. So if there's any splash from the bath, it'll keep the walls dry. They have got um, young young kids. We all you you know we all know how we used to uh, splash around in the bath a bit. I might as well do across there too. I hope um, that you are able to learn something. I hope I can teach you something. I come out every day. I'm hoping you'll pick something up that you're able to work with and use on your own place. If you're a DIYer, that's just smoothing that out. I'm I'm rolling on the sealer primer. That's always a must. When I <coughs> was stripping out that shower base there, there was no sealer primer, 
and the waterproof well I just peeled it up and I just pulled it up in uh, sheets so it was uh, you know I got it right back to the cement sheet easy peasy so which was good for me but um, bad for the previous owner okay that looks all pretty good see I don't know why but that's still that's still dusty whenever it was um, tiled years ago 10 years ago it's still got dust on it so how how does glue look at that see it on my fingers how does dust stick to that don't know anyway let's move on if I can teach you please let me know what you'd like to um, what you'd like me to comment on let me know you're watching um, and anything that I can help you with just let me know what um, what your question is and I'll answer it straight away if you would give us a thumbs up press the press the subscribe button and the bell Boop. yeah you can buy all your um, all your fancy glues that are good for this and good for that but if you haven't sealed your walls you might as well just stick your tiles up with flour and water because nothing no matter how good your glue is nothing sticks to dust so for all you DIYers please if I can teach you anything please prime your walls before you do anything I'm going to be um, waterproofing up to here Boncrete and water is another good um, primer sealer but I buy this go oh, it's only like $50 for five liters it goes so far it's not dear at all but people don't use it it's a no-brainer even though I'm putting VJ board up there I'm going to be using wall adhesive 12 bags of mud that's what I need for this floor I'm going to be using wall adhesive for my VJ board well If my walls are primed, I'm not trying to um, stick the, the the VJ board up there on dust. I'm teaching you people 
anything, please do this before you tile. Or waterproof. With my floor tomorrow, I'll be uh, wet bedding, like screeding and putting my tiles down at the same time. Everything will run off that waste, all my lines. It goes from nothing to about 30 mil. This floor is 30 mil out of level. <laughs> I don't know why. Whether it's um, uh, sunk, whether it's sunk or it was just.